action. Speculation continues to mount that Michelle Obama may actually be the Democrats' best presidential candidate for 2024. Everybody loves Michelle Obama. She's everybody's favorite first lady. They say behind every powerful man, there's a powerful woman. Well, behind every sick man, there's an even sicker woman. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Michelle's husband. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Barack Obama authorized a drone strike that killed a 16-year-old American citizen? An American 16-year-old boy was assassinated by a drone strike that was authorized by Barack Obama. And I bet you never even heard that story, have you? I bet that night after that little boy was killed, Michelle went to Barack and she rubbed his head. She said, don't worry about it, sweetie. We'll do better next time. How sadistic is the Democratic Party? Yes, we came. We saw <laughs> he died. <laughs> When Barack Obama ran for president, him and his wife were worth $1.2 million. How in the world did they walk out of the White House and they're worth tens of millions of dollars when they came in under the message of hope and change? Hope and change for who? Did your pockets increase? Did you become exponentially wealthy? Do you have a house in Martha's Vineyard? No. There is always a black face to power. When you see a black face in power, you better be careful because they're about to, they're about to do some of the worst things in American history. Under Barack Obama, they deported like 5 million immigrants. 5 million immigrants were deported and they killed hundreds and hundreds of people with drone strikes and that doesn't even make the news. A matter of fact, they gave Barack Obama the Nobel Peace Prize. If this was his agenda, what do you think Michelle's agenda is going to be? Michelle Obama has already shown where her allegiances lie. Theoretically, Michelle Obama and Barack Obama are both heterosexual people with two beautiful daughters and they're married, happily married. I say theoretically because they have a gay agenda. Why in the world would two heterosexual people with an entire family have a gay agenda? Why in the world would Michelle Obama go on national news and interview a transgender boy? Why would she do that? What's the purpose? It's letting you know exactly what her agenda is. Men and women are always in competition. Husbands and wives are always in competition. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. And Michelle Obama believes that she can. So if Barack Obama passed gay rights, what do you think Michelle is going to do? Michelle's going to make it pride forever. It's going to be illegal to be a heterosexual person in America. How about that? I don't think it sounds strange at all because the Democratic Party continues to push anti-human ideology Provide a definition for the word woman. Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. Well, they put gay rights above basic human rights, and basic human rights are for human beings to make babies. Because without babies, we don't have humanity. And I cannot understand the logic. I just know it's a political agenda to get more votes. And as they get more votes, the American people continue to decline. As their pockets continue to incline, they just get more money as they step on poor people and push gay rights right down your throat. I'm asking American citizens to have objective conversations where we discuss facts. If we can discuss facts, then perhaps we can push America forward. But if we can't discuss facts, if we can't discuss people's actual political agendas, then we're going to continue to be destroyed. Poor people are going to continue to get poor, and rich people like the Obamas are going to get richer and richer and richer. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.